Push the goddamn button. Push the goddamn button. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go ahead and click that red button right there. And also click that bell for notifications and select all. All right. Yo, 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 yo. This is Games and Graphics. We are back in the building. With another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you in, we are going to be installing the McDonald's building with interior and drive through alright? This one right here is created by Rip Sosa, shout out to the creator. When you get down to this page, what you want to do is uh, scroll down and read the description. It has uh, some information on how to install it for single player and it also can be installed for your 5M server as well, okay? So once you get done reading the description, you want to come over here where it says current and select the green arrow to download. All right. Now let's go back to the description right here. Okay. Um, there has been some issues with uh, installing it the way that the author has provided. So I am going to show you another way to install this right here. Okay. So in order for us to install this, we are going to need open four. We will not be installing Open 4, but I will leave a link down in the description to a video showing you how to install Open 4. And you will also need this right here. This is DLC Pack Creator. This is created by Skylums. Shout out to Skylums. When you get down to this page, you want to read the full description. Then come over right here where it says Current and select the green arrow to download. Okay. This uh, create DLC pack is what we are going to need in order to convert the McDonald's YMAP files into a DLC. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to it. Make sure that you have all your requirements installed, which is open for, and make sure that you have your DLC pack creator and your McDonald's building with interior and drive through downloaded. All right, on my left hand side, I have a folder with two downloads inside. I have DLC Pack Creator V11. Then I have the um, MCEYS, I guess, McKees and Missies. This is the McDonald's folder, okay? This is our download for the McDonald's, okay? So on my right hand side, I have my Grand Theft Auto 5 directory opened up. It's all ready to go. I have open for installed and I am all set. Okay, so what we need to do right now is go ahead and uh, just take this folder right here, the MC's folder, and we just want to copy the name of that folder, just like I'm doing now, I'm just copying in the name of it. All right, then you want to go over here to uh, the DLC pack creator V11, open that one up. It's going to be a whole bunch of files, but the only one that we are interested in is this application file right here. So go ahead and double click on DLC creator application. Once you open that up, a little box will pop up right here. Let's go ahead and uh, inside of DLC name, we are going to paste the name of the McDonald's folder, which is MCs. And for type, we are going to leave it at map. And we are going to go ahead and select create DLC. Once you create DLC, it'll be a little browser window that will pop up. It's going to ask you where would you like to uh, place your DLC pack once it's created. We want to locate our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory, okay? Which is wherever your directory is, go ahead and locate it. Mine's is on my D drive inside of a uh, Steam library, common GTA 5. Then I'm going to go to the mods folder, update, and then DLC packs. Okay. Then select OK. Then you'll get a message saying successfully created DLC pack at the destination that you chose. Okay. Select OK. Now we can go ahead and um, we can actually exit out of the create DLC pack. Let's go ahead and exit out of that. But before you do that, you could also copy this right here. We go ahead and copy this line right here. Copy. Once that, once you copy this a DLC list item line, then you can exit out. Now let's go over to our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. Go inside your mods folder. Update. 64. DLC packs. And inside your DLC packs, you will find 
our McDonald's folder uh, we just created. Okay, so this is our DLC pack that we just created, but it is empty. So in order for us to fill it up, what we need to do now is open up our open four. So go ahead and open up your open four. My open four is open up right here on my right hand side. Before we go any further, make sure that you have your edit mode turned on. Turn on edit mode, click it and just select on. Okay, once that is turned on, what you wanna do now is navigate to your mods folder, then go to update 64 DLC packs. Then you wanna scroll down till you find your MC's folder. Okay, your MC's folder is your McDonald's folder, okay? So let's go ahead and open up MC's and then open up the DLC.RPF 64 levels GTA 5 and in these two files we are going to be we are going to place our actual McDonald's files so we're gonna leave it right here let's go back over to our downloads where we had our DLC pack creator folder opened up and select the back arrow to go back to our downloads where we had our McDonald's folder at. Now let's go ahead and open up the McDonald's folder. Inside the McDonald's folder will be two folders. This first one will say for single player. That's the one that we will be using. And the second one that says MCs, this one is for your 5M server, okay? Now what we wanna do is um, actually, we wanna open up the server folder, the one that says MCs. Let's go ahead and open up that folder. Inside that folder, it is going to say, um, it's going to have a stream folder in the FX manifest, okay? Let's open up the stream folder. All right. Now that we are in the stream folder right here, Let's go over to our Macy's uh, or MC's metadata RPF. Open that one up. All right, now that we are in our MC's metadata.rpf, let's go back over here to our um, stream folder that we had open. And what we're going to do is just grab these files that I have highlighted. All right, you want to snatch these files that I have highlighted. I have the YMF file and the YMAP files, okay? Those are the only files that I'm taking in here right now is the YMF and the YMAPs, okay? So once you have those highlighted, go ahead and drag and drop those right here into your MC's metadata.rpf and you will see your files added right here. Now what we wanna do is go back and then go inside the MC's.rpf. Open that one up and we want to take the remaining files. So you're going to take these files that I have highlighted, which is the YDR and YTD. We're going to drag and drop those files right here into our, um, into our MCs.RPF folder. Okay. So now that that has all been done, we can select file and close all archives. But before I close all archives, I'm just gonna select the back button just to make sure that you have everything correct, okay? So inside of the mcs.rpf folder, we should only have our drawable objects, which is the YDR files and the YTD, okay? Now let's go back again. And in the mcs underscore metadata.rpf archive, we should have our YMAP files and our .YMF, which is our manifest, okay? So you wanna have it exactly like I have it. Once you do, then you can select file, close all archives. Next, what we need to do is go to um, mods, or actually, if you don't have your uh, update.rpf already saved to your mods folder, this is what you wanna do. You wanna go to update in the side column, then select update.rpf. Then there'll be a red banner that pops up. It's gonna say copy the mods folder, select copy the mods folder. Then after that, select common, uh, select data. Then you wanna scroll down till you see your DLC list.xml. Right click, select edit. Scroll down to the bottom, right behind the last item line, like you see here, press enter, and then paste the same line that we had copied earlier from our DLC creator, okay? Now this is one part you're gonna have to correct. You see these uh, back forward, these back and forward uh, slashes right here. 
we are going to correct it to make sure that it matches the ones above us okay so as you can see i'm just erasing those slashes and repositioning them okay so you want to make sure that these lines match the ones that are ahead of you okay if that makes sense it should make a whole lot of sense <laughs> after that is done go ahead and select save once that is saved, select file, close our archives, and we could exit out of open four, minimize any other windows that we have open, and run the game. All right, now once you spawn into the game, um, I'm gonna show you exactly where it's at. It's gonna be in this location over here by Simeon's uh, Premium Deluxe Motorsports. And it's actually gonna be right across the street from um, Ammunition Store right there. This is where McDonald's will be located at, right here. Let me open up the map. And this will be the location right here. It will be uh, near Legion Square. The uh, actually Pillbox Hill. <laughs> Alright, so this is where it will be. And as you can see, we got the full McDonald's going on. We got the menu up there also as well. We uh, normally have some customers outside sitting on the bench in front. You got, uh, let me switch in uh, first person. There you go. Put away my gun. <laughs> so you see you have uh, your little, you know, stuff right there. Even though it says burger shot. Um, you have uh, your menus and everything up there. Your props and stuff on the tables, foods. It looked like little TV screens there also. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty nice setup though. You know, get your little area in here you can eat at. And everything's all, you know, detailed with the catch registers and all that. You even got Sosa Nation right there. It says bank owned. <laughs> so everything is in here. Soda machines, trash cans and stuff. Most of this, uh, yep, you got all your props for your food and all that. So, like I said, this could be used in your server also for role playing. You have people acting like they uh, work here. Uh, wow, trash need to be taken out. And you have your drive through right here. So, your drive through, you can have people take the orders. Uh, more food and props and stuff back here. You know, everything a McDonald's would have, you know, pretty much got. Now, uh, I don't know about the prices and everything uh, here. Is that uh, that calories or what? <laughs> but like I said, you know, everything is here, man. You know what I mean? Y'all see all the familiar foods that McDonald's has right there on the menu. All right. Now, um, I'm going to drive on the side where the little drive through is real quick. Go right through here. Let me get out of the first person mode. There we go. Just got a new controller, got to get used to it. <laughs> All right. So this will be um, the drive-through right here. All right, you can pull up right here and order your food, you know what I mean? Right there, at McDonald's. <laughs> That's pretty dope. All right, and uh, I guess this will be the exit right over here. Yeah. So, that's going to be it right there, folks. That is McDonald's. Live in the flesh. Let's go ahead and get our nice little Wait, screenshot of McDonald's. See, it tells you we got people all outside enjoying themselves at McDonald's. I'm going to go grab yourself a snack. That is messed up. That is messed up, man. Selfie. <laughs> all right, y'all. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. This helped y'all out to install it or if you just enjoyed the video man feel free to smash that like button for you boy definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share the video with your friends that are in the modding gta 5 y'all this is games and graphics me and big ball and ass frank we're gonna sit here and chill out in front of our mcdonald's man till next time I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.